AI art can be used to improve existing designs you already have. That's what I want to do in this video. I want to have a look at some of my older designs I've made in things like Figma and Photoshop. Those web designs I want to take to the next level, plugging them into Midjourney, the AI art tool, creating new variations and seeing how this whole process works. Let's begin. I've opened up Figma.com and here I've built quite a few different designs over the years. I'm going to open up one of my more recent ones here for Enhance UI and this is one that I've spent quite a few hours on. I've got a number of pages here and I want to scroll through just to one of the pages and use this as a reference point for generating new variations using AI art. I'm going to be lazy and just clip this picture. I'm going to screenshot it and the proper way would probably be to export this but for the time being this should be enough. Also, for the past two years, I've been working on my very first course, a design course about teaching you how to make good looking websites, things like color theory, topography, visual hierarchy, and much more. This is going to be available for anyone across the board, whether you are a beginner or someone looking to improve your skills, this will definitely help you. I'm launching it very soon in the next month. And if you want a special discount, jump in on the link below and definitely sign up. Using the snippet tool, I'm gonna save this in my pictures folder, and then I'm gonna upload it to Discord. And this is my own Discord. You can even join this if you want at the link below. And I've got ChatGPT as well as Midjourney and lots of other AI tools enabled on this Discord channel. For the time being, I'm just gonna upload this image of the screenshot I took for my own website design. I'm gonna have this uploaded so that I can pull out the URL for it and then plug it back into Midjourney. So when I open it in full screen on Chrome, you'll see that it pops up with a URL here. So now I can do a forward slash imagine. I'm gonna get a prompt here and I'm gonna plug that URL in. Then I'll define some additional text. In this case that I want a website course about web design for developers and beginners that includes things like UI and UX. This is quite a simple example, but it is my first attempt before I do additional variations. And here are the results from Midjourney. It's definitely upscaled this design and it's on top of that pulled in inspiration from the same color dynamic I was using, which is those grays and greens and yellows. I can see that there are a few variations on how I could design this. It's basically using a larger text as well as larger imagery compared to what I had before. And this is also a good start, but I wanna head over to the Midjourney website. Here, I'm gonna have a look at other website designs people have generated. I like this one of a dolphin, so I'm gonna have a look at some of the prompts that they've used here, which include things like using Figma, as well as Dribbble, as well as awards as part of the prompt. I want to include that as part of my own prompt to hopefully generate better looking designs. Additionally, I'm gonna do forward slash settings, and I want to view the settings that I currently have inside of Midjourney. I want to select a remix mode, which will allow me to add additional variations later on. And I also want to make sure that my quality is as high as it can be, as well as my styling being very high. This will make sure that some of the nuances that happen in terms of the UI and UX hopefully are expressed in the AI art. With that done, I'm gonna do another imagine with a prompt. I'll copy paste those prompts that I earlier had from the dolphin design. And then after that, I'm gonna grab the URL here that I had originally for my own design. I'm gonna combine all of these together. And finally, I'll provide some context, which in this case, I'm gonna to try to write out a bit more cleanly. This time I'll write in something like website course, web design, book with color theory, visual hierarchy, UI, UX, and much more. Hopefully this gives it more context and produces a better result. Midjourney and its AI art tool runs pretty quick though. Not this quick, I am speeding up the video a little, but here are the results. I've got a few more variations to work with. I'm still using that same dark theme kind of style, but there's a lot more colors now that I've added the word color theory. I've got more of a book design here on the top right, and I'm quite happy with these. I can now hit the refresh button to generate even more examples like this. This will continue to create variations for me that I can consider and use. This time, I'm gonna jump into Dribbble, a place for all sorts of web designs, and I wanna see if I can pull in some inspiration by finding a design that I like and matching it to the design that I want to create. I've typed in web design course, and I'm gonna browse through some of the options and ideally find a design that I kind of like that I wanna match my own to. This one here at the very end is one that I liked. This design here is kind of basic, straight to the point, but it's got some of those design aesthetics I was looking for. 
I'm going to copy the URL of this image by opening it up in a new tab and just pulling out the URL address. I'm going to jump back into Midjourney and imagine a new prompt. I'm going to paste in this address and I'm going to put in a very specific prompt here. Web design course for a website. This is also going to include color theory, topography, UI, UX, web design, and things like Figma, beautiful web design, web design, UI, UX. All of these additional keywords definitely help to make a better prompt. Here are the results I got. These are definitely different than the original style I had. They're a lot lighter, but also a lot more colorful. However, I'm still not quite pleased. I'm going to do another prompt here, plugging in the same screenshot, but changing up my actual context for what I'm passing across. I'm going to remove the abundance of keywords I previously had and just be very specific. Being more specific allows you to create different types of results like this one here, which I quite like, especially for version one. Now I want to use another feature from Midjourney and the AI art, which is Remix. Enabling this allows you to not only select the variation you like, but also update the prompt at the same time, which is very cool. Since I'm doing this design course and it's essentially a book, I want to do more emphasis about this person reading the book. So I'm going to add in my prompt reading booked as well as learning, and hopefully this produces some better results. And here they are. These actually look much cleaner and better designed than previous examples. I like the emphasis on something clean and simple with the title at the top and this person reading this book on the bottom right. Let's see if I can pick my favorite version, which is this one here on the bottom left. And this is it. It almost looks like this person who's reading the design course and is very amazed at how wonderful it is, while in the background, some of those elements of what he's learning are exploding. Now, I could continue to make variations or upscale, but what I really like is the idea of taking a camera and taking a picture of myself in this pose and creating a really cool design around this UI. This is one of the benefits of Midjourney. It's not just to create the designs for you, but also to give you inspirations to make your own. And I think hopefully this video has showed you how to do that. So don't forget to like and subscribe.